Hey guys, I am Satyan Rasko. We are starting this week for the students who are doing internship at Smart Intern. It's a kind of virtual internship in Android app development, and this internship is approved by AICT. So this is a unit one, and in this unit, we'll be having some code lab exercise. So this exercise you can do it by your own because in this exercise, you just have to copy and paste the thing, and the and the instructions will be given to you. So you just have to follow the instruction. And if you find it any difficulty anywhere, then you can ask me in the comment section below. So without wasting any time, let's begin this quiz one. So the first question is what is program? The correct answer for this question is option number C, because a program is a series of instructions that a computer system executes to accomplish some task. So if we want a computer to accomplish some task, then we have to write a series of instructions so that computer understand. What does he do? Now coming to the next question. The next question is how do we write a function in Kotlin? For writing a function in Kotlin, we use the keyword fun. So the correct answer for this question is fun keyword option number A. Coming to the question number three, which of the following do you need to create a Kotlin program that prints a line of text? So for writing a line of text in Kotlin language, first we'll use a main function. After using a main function, we will open its block by putting a set of curly braces. After putting a set of curly braces, we use print or print ln function. It's a built-in function in Kotlin to print anything. So the correct answer for this question is B, C, and D. Coming to the question number four, here is a function. This is printing a line of text, hello world, and after printing the line of text, it will change the line because Print ln is used, and after changing the line, it will print if a sunny and a warm day. So it will print two lines of text. And the correct answer for this question is option number B. Coming to the question number five, how would you modify this main function so that it prints a six-layer case for someone's fourth birthday? So in this question, we have to assign six in the integer form to the variable layer and four in the integer form to the variable age. So the correct option for this question is option number C because here four in the integer form is assigned to the variable age and six in the integer form is assigned to the variable year. The correct option cannot be the option number B because four and six are in the string form. Coming to the last question, so it's a user-defined create message function which is taking three arguments. The first argument is the name argument and the data type of this argument is a string. The next one is location. The data type of this Argument is also in the string form, and the last one is age, which is in the integer form. So the formal parameters of this function is string, string, and integer. So while calling the create message function, the sequence of the function parameters should be the same, and the data type of the parameter should also be the same. So the correct option for this question number six should be option number A, because the first argument is in the string form, and the second argument is in the string form, and the last one is. In the integer form, so let's submit this. So that's all for this quiz number one. And in the next video, we'll be solving quiz number two of unit number one. So I'll see you there. Thank you.